The reason we've asked you here today, and the reason why my colleague from IMLT is here, is we've had some information that as well as your other business interests, you have been operating an illegal money lending service, and that Mr. Milligan was one of your clients. Which is pure speculation, obviously. Is it? Well, so you ask me if I'm some sort of loan shark? Well, no, I'm not. Well, perhaps you can explain to me why someone who was recently badly in debt and who runs a tacky second-hand furniture shop, no offence, can suddenly afford to <laughs> splash out on a car. Not only that, a whopping great big factory. What can I say? I must have had a few lucky finds. Is that right? You want to go on bargain hunt? <laughs> You'd make a killing. And like I've explained before, Derek signed on for the factory because he couldn't afford to pay me for the work I'd done. Or for the money I'd spent on builders and materials. So, for the record, you're saying you are not a loan shark. That's right. Well, you know a man who is, though, don't you? Let's talk a little bit about Rick Nealon. Shall we? So, having been in debt to Mr. Nealon, but you have absolutely no idea as to his whereabouts. And why would I? We weren't exactly mates, were we? And you also admit to knowing Derek Milligan? Well, yeah. Okay, so the uh, money that uh, he owed you uh, for the work you did on the factory, how much are we talking? <laughs> I don't know after. Roughly about. speaking, what, four, five, ten thousand pounds? My client has already said he can't recall the exact amount. Well, it must have been a considerable amount of money for him to sign over a factory just bought to you. No, he was skint, that's all he had. So you're saying he was desperate? Well, I suppose so, yeah. There's no supposing about it, all right, Mr. Windus? Especially after what he did. Are you implying that my client is somehow responsible for Mr. Milligan's actions? I am implying that Mr. Milligan got hold of a gun to try and shoot your client, but ended up killing an innocent bystander and leaving another one in a coma because he did not sign that factory over willingly, did he? He was forced to by you, like because that. you are a loan shark, aren't you, Mr. Windus? Aren't you? I'm pretty sure I know who's been telling you these lies about me, but you got it all wrong. Have we? Yeah. I mean, how could I know he had a gun, eh? Hey? Hey? I didn't know he was going to do all that, did I? But you know why he did it, don't you? How many times do you want me to say it? I'm not a loan shark. Look, my client is here voluntarily, so unless you've got some more evidence to base your questions on, we've got nothing more to add. Interview terminated. 11.31. All right, you can go. But we'll be talking to you again. Are you okay? No, I'm not. I'm flaming shaking. Look, I know you've had a hard day, but you need to pull yourself together. You're behaving like a guilty man in there. Yeah, and what if I am, eh? You still defend me then? Well, it's up to the prosecution to ascertain guilt, not me. But if you are, you need to tell me so that I can work out the best way to proceed. Oh, forget about it. You just wound me up, that's all. Right. Well, then, I suggest you go home and get yourself some rest. And Paula. Thank you. <laughs>